What's good you guys? It's your girl Tracy and I am back again with another video. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing this highlighted wig from Hair in Beauty. This is the beautiful Bob 4x4 lace wig. So the lace only goes from right here to right here, but it's so beautiful and seamless. It looks like a frontal. Okay, the texture it came in was straight with 150% density. So with that being said, if you guys want to see how I installed this wig, stay tuned. But before we get into the video, I do want to say, if you guys not subscribed to my channel already, don't forget to subscribe, please like this video, and comment any new ideas you have for me. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. I'm gonna set that down and now I'm gonna go in with my got to be glued edge control and I'm gonna put it right on the hairline I'm actually gonna use the red one now I do that first so I can kind of like hold it a little bit and then I'm gonna go with my scissors and cut off the excess lace You see how it kind of already blends into my skin? That's how I know that this lace is going to be really nice because it's already melting into my skin without me holding it down or anything. Now I'm going to take a very thin layer of the hairline. I have some slight baby hairs going on. Okay, now I'm gonna wrap my edges so that it can settle. So really quick, I'm just gonna run my hot comb through my closure one more time really quick, and then I'm gonna curl my hair. I already put the CHI Silk Infusion in my wig, so you're not gonna see me do that step, but that's what I use for my heat protector. Okay, this is where we're at so far. I like this side a lot, but this side is giving me mixed feelings. I don't like how right here is kind of frizzy, but maybe if I add a little bit more oil. It will stop doing that. Let's see. I mean, it doesn't look that bad though. Oh, now that I think about it though, I see more highlights on this side than this side, but um, it's still really cute. I mean, it's fine. It's not that bad. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off this scarf and then I'm going to go into, you know, more details about the actual wig and the hair company. Let me go ahead and take this off. This is always my favorite part. Taking this off is my favorite part because the lace just looks so good. Yeah, 
yeah this side definitely got more highlights way more highlights okay so just a little bit about the actual hair company this hair company is called hair and beauty they have a whole bunch of wig varieties on the website they have all types of colors they have all types of wigs bobs curly straight long short you know you know the drift so today this is their highlight straight bob wig the hair color is 4 slash 27 ombre this is a 4x4 already made wig, so the lace goes from right here to right here. Very short, but looks very seamless. It kind of looks like a frontal. It's this side for me. Like, why are you doing that? This is how I want it to be. You know? Bam, like that. It doesn't look bad off. Yeah, there we go. Now you see what I'm seeing. You see that? It's floating. It's okay. Their hair density is 150% density. The hair texture is straight, of course, like I said at first. The average head size is about 21 inches. I think that's how big this cap size is, it's 21 inches. But I am not 100% sure, but it is average anyway. When it comes to the actual hairline, I really, really like the hairline. I like how the lace is. The lace melted right into my skin without me even putting the scarf on. Like, that's how amazing the lace is. Right when I put the edge control on there, you couldn't even see the lace no more. Now, if this side would just stay... I'm messing it up. It's not, it's not doing it for me. This side is so perfect, like... And this side... It looks fine on camera, so I can't even show you guys what I mean. Anyway, it doesn't say on their website what kind of lace this is. Like, if it's Swiss lace or... HD lace, whatever, whatever the laces are, but it doesn't say on the website what kind of lace this is, but it is really nice and seamless, so whatever it is, it's hidden. So I went ahead and I bleached the knot, even though I really didn't have to. The color of the roots is kind of brown already, kind of, you know, a little light brown, so I didn't really have to go in and pluck it and bleach the knots, but I went ahead and did that anyway because I'm a little extra, which is totally fine. So I went in, I bleached the knots, and I plucked it, and I feel like it looks better, even though, like, literally, if you just take the wig and put it on, it will still look good. For me, the quality of this wig is amazing. I really, really like the wig. I like the way it's constructed. It's definitely a beautifully made wig, but my only thing, my only concern is, like I showed you guys in the beginning, um, this is supposed to be a bob wig, so you're not supposed to have so many layers in the wig. But as you can see, you can see all the layers. Like, you can already see all the layers. Bob wigs are not supposed to have all of this. All of these layers in there. But it's cute. It's really cute when I curled it. Like, it'll probably be cute when it's straightened too, but I really like this curl. Damn, I look good. I look really, really good. Okay. So as you guys saw, I curled the wig, and the product that I used was the CHI Silk Infusion. I freaking love this oil. Like, this is literally my favorite oil ever. This stuff is amazing. And the other thing that I used was this. When I use the Gorilla Snap for my natural hair, I always use the yellow one. But for my wigs, I always use the, um, the red one just because it's lighter and it doesn't have as much residue. Let me know what you guys think about this wig. I really, really, really like it. Like, it is flawless to me it is so bouncy and nice would you have worn it straight or you like this curled look i'm really feeling this curled look i'm so happy i curled it like it looks so good i really really like this wig this wig is amazing definitely check the link below this is actually an affordable wig so definitely check the link below and look at the prices and everything like now i haven't worn the hair for so long so i don't really know like the longevity it's not shedding or anything, even with the highlights. I'm not really experiencing any shedding. I can say that this wig is mad soft. Like, the wig is so, so soft. It is so soft. Like, ooh, baby. One thing I do want to say, though. I'm going to say that at the end. Oh, before I go, I do want to show you guys the packaging. It's really simple. It didn't come with so much stuff. Hair in Beauty. This is the packaging, how the box came. When you open up the box, they give you some lashes. And they also give you a wig cap. So, you know, really simple. Not much. But before I go, nothing is perfect. So, if I had to tell you guys one con about this wig, I would definitely say it's the flyaways. You can kind of see it at the top. You know, it's kind of short. That is so easy to get rid of. You could just use a slick stick and slick it down. But that's the first thing I noticed when I opened up the box. 
it's actually not that big of a deal because the slick stick makes it look so freaking nice. So yeah. A super cute highlight wig that cares about your pockets, okay? So yep, yeah, with that being said, I don't really have anything else to say. So I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.